from the discovery that a massive mountain in the Alps is swaying to how fish use something similar to a Mexican wave to escape predators. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifix. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifix, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. In a new study this week, researchers found that the Matterhorn, a massive mountain that has towered over the landscape between Switzerland and Italy, is constantly in motion, swaying gently back and forth once about every two seconds. This subtle vibration with normally imperceptible amplitudes is stimulated by seismic energy in the earth originating from the world's oceans, earthquakes as well as human activity. Every object vibrates at certain frequencies where an external energy is applied to it like a tuning fork or the strings of a guitar. These so-called natural frequencies depend primarily on the geometry of the object and its material properties. The phenomenon is also observed in bridges, high-rise buildings and now even mountains. The team wanted to know whether such resonant vibrations can also be detected on a large mountain like the Matterhorn. For the study, the scientists installed several seismometers on the Matterhorn, including one directly on the summit at 4,470 meters above sea level and another at an emergency shelter on the northeast ridge. Another measuring station at the foot of the mountain served as a reference. The seismometers recorded all movements of the mountain at high resolution from which the team could derive the frequency and direction of the resonance. The measurements show that the Matterhorn oscillates roughly in a north-south direction at a frequency of 0.42 Hz and in an east-west direction at a second with similar frequency. In turn, by speeding up these ambient vibration measurements 80 times, the team was able to make the vibration landscape of the Matterhorn audible to the human ear, translating the resonant frequencies into audible tones. In a first, scientists have captured the image of radio emissions from the nearest actively feeding supermassive black hole to Earth. The emission is powered by a central black hole in the galaxy Centaurus A, about 12 million light years away. As the black hole feeds on infalling gas, it ejects material at near light speed, causing radio bubbles to grow over hundreds of millions of years. When viewed from the Earth, the eruption from Centaurus A now extends 8 degrees across the sky, the length of 16 full moons laid side by side. The image was captured using the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope in the Outback Western Australia. Also this week, for the first time, researchers have identified the signature of a magnetic field surrounding a planet outside of our solar system. Since the Earth's magnetic field acts as a shield against energetic particles from the Sun, known as the solar wind, magnetic fields could play similar roles on other planets. Astronomers used data from the Hubble Space Telescope to discover the signature of a magnetic field in the planet outside our solar system. The finding marks the first time such a feature has been seen in an exoplanet. A magnetic field best explains the observations of an extended region of charged carbon particles that surround the planet and stream away from it a long tail. Magnetic fields play a crucial role in protecting planetary atmospheres, so the ability to detect the magnetic fields on exoplanets is a significant step towards better understanding what these alien worlds may look like. The team used Hubble to observe the exoplanet HATP-11b, a Neptune-sized planet 123 light years from Earth, pass directly across the face of its host star six times in what is known as the transit. The observations were made in the ultraviolet light spectrum, which is just beyond what the human eye can see. The Hubble detected carbon ions, which are charged particles that interact with magnetic fields surrounding the planet in what is known as a magnetosphere. A magnetosphere is a region around a celestial object such as Earth that is formed by the object's interaction with the solar wind emitted by its host star. 
The discovery of HAT P11B's magnetosphere is a significant step towards an improved understanding of the habitability of an exoplanet. Not all planets and moons in our solar system have their own magnetic fields and the connection between magnetic fields and a planet's habitability is still needs more study according to the researchers. Meanwhile this week scientists have discovered a new species of bird-like dinosaurs that used brute strength to overcome its prey dating back to over 100 million years ago. The new animal has been named Vectoraptor greeny after local collector Mick Green who discovered its bones after they became washed from the rocks on the south coast of the Isle of Wight. It was an older, more heavily built relative of the predator Velociraptor. The fearsome animal was about the size of a wolf, around 3 meters long from nose to tail and would have used huge slashing talons or its feet to dispatch its prey. Its finely serrated teeth were then used to bite off pieces of the kill. The dinosaur would have prowled through the forests that covered the land in the early Cretaceous period 125 million years ago. It died and lay buried until 2004 when storms and waves eroded away the rocks that had kept its bones hidden. Yet another 20 years passed before scientists from the universities of Bath and Portsmouth studied the fossils and made the surprising find that the bones represented a new species. Vectiraptor belonged to a group of dinosaurs called dromaeosaurs or raptors. These bird-like dinosaurs were specialist hunters and like their modern-day avian relatives were covered in long feathers. Their jaws were full blade-like serrated teeth and they had huge kite-shaped claws on their feet which they used to slash their prey causing it to rapidly bleed to death. Much like spectators in stadiums sometimes create a wave, as successive groups stand up in unison to yell with arms in the air, researchers have shown that small freshwater fish known as sulphur mollies do a similar thing to protect themselves from predatory birds. The collective wave action produced by hundreds of thousands of fish working together came as a surprise to the researchers. There are up to 4,000 fish per square meter and sometimes hundreds of thousands of fish participate in a single fish wave. Fish can repeat these waves for up to 2 minutes with one wave approximately every 3 to 4 seconds. When you are in the vicinity of these unusual fish found in sulfuric springs that are toxic to most fish, this behavior is hard to miss. That is because the mollies do the same thing in response to a person nearby. The researchers found that experimentally induced fish waves also doubled the time birds waited until their next attack to substantially reduce their attack frequency. For one of their bird predators, capture probability decreased with the wave number. Birds also switched perches in response to the wave displays more often, suggesting that they had decided to direct their attacks elsewhere. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to the print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.